Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going Q2 of the weekly contest 377 maximum square area by removing fences from a field. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. This one I thought was actually very tricky. Uh, it took me a while to get it. Um, I end up taking six minutes, seven minutes almost. Um, and, and yeah, and, a lot, and it's a, a hard point for a lot of people, at least, you know. Um, at least it seems right. There are a lot of wrong answers, and it's just to be honest, and even to the point where I halfway considered skipping it and coming back to it, but then I find just got a little bit lucky with seeing it. And the core part of the uh, problem is just seeing that uh, where is it? Oh, the constraints n is at six hundred. So I was playing around with a, a lot of ideas of, um, you know, because n is equal to six hundred, or one of the n's uh, six hundred. Then you know I I could do n square n cube is too slow but n square and maybe a little bit you know of searching, um, you know you could do something like that right like f because and n, n square is just for every two fences uh, or you know for one dimensional every two fence these are the things that you look up as the length uh, so that's what I try to do right and you because visually so that's what i was trying to do um in code visually what that means is that you're removing everything in between right for example if you say uh there's a fence at three and there's another fence at ten the, uh then that length is seven so then you could say one side is going to be seven and just remove everything in between and and that you can make uh um a fence of or a, a, a a square with a side seven, right? So I was kind of playing around with that idea for a little bit of a, a time. I was like, okay, well now, so we could do that in n square. Can we look up 600 or, or we, can we look up the side in say log n or something like this um, on the other dimension, right? But I couldn't figure it out. Uh, and then it just took me a while to come up with the idea that we can do them independently. Uh, and what I mean by that is this. Um, there is a sorting, of course, but yeah, but basically the idea is that, okay, you get all the possible sides for horizontal, you get all the possible sides for vertical, and then you kind of merge them and then take the max of the merge ones. You don't even have to do a full merge, you could do a, some sort of, uh, uh, um, uh, what should we call it? Uh, not a sliding window, but a two, uh, two fingers algorithm, two pointers algorithm, just walk the walk the max or something like this if you really want um and that's gonna be more uh n plus m but uh but yeah but so you could do a number of things like that but but this is that's basically my idea is that for each for one dimension i i set a set i and i just kind of add a couple of things on the left and the right for one and the l which is one of the things uh i sort them just general sorting, putting it in order. And then, yeah, I don't even think I need to sort, do I? Hmm. I guess not the way that I did it this way. Well, I mean, sorting it makes this like twice as fast just because now you could do it for I J instead of like for I to N and J to N or something like this, but probably maybe not necessary. Uh, and if you want to remove zero, just in case, I, I guess. But, um, but yeah, I don't know if it's necessary, but you know, it's just that you have to write this part a little bit differently. But yeah, but this gives you one side for that dimension of a possible side, because like we said, you can just eliminate everything in between. So that's how you get it. So then this will return uh, n square elements for one di one of the dimension. So I get it for horizontal, I get it for vertical, and then this is just set intersection in Python. <laughs> it looks very uh, weird, but, but yeah, that's set intersection. Um, so if there's no intersection, I return negative one because that's what they want to tell you to return. Otherwise, you just return the the max of it, the biggest side. You square it to get the area. Remember the mod, which is, I suspect a lot of people got a wrong answer from that because this fits in the long, I think. So it's a little bit awkward to be honest. That you know because uh, on Q three, the answer does not. Or th yeah, the answer should be a long, uh, yeah, right. The the answer is a long, long, I guess in C plus plus. So yeah, Q three it has the same thing, but it looks like it doesn't need a mod. So it's a very inconsistent thing here, right? Because uh, so, the domain of the, the answers are still the same. Uh, this is ten to the eighteen, and this is I mean not I guess ten to the eleven. 
I guess there's a little bit minor difference with re respect to kind of like JavaScript, for example, uh, doesn't have a native long bit. Anyway, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> side rent aside, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is n square for this, and then we do it twice, and then this is linear on the n square. Remember that you know this could be n square, and this could be n square, and then you know you do a linear thing on that. So this is n square. Uh, you could also walk it, but I, but I think that's still the same in the n square. Either way, yeah. So this is going to be n square time, uh, n square space because sides can be n square. And that's all we have for this one. Let me know what you think. And you could watch me solve it live during the contest. Now, though, it's just a lot of me thinking. <laughs>
different and a that's what I get. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.